America, I got another good one for you today. You understand me? I am proud to have a real one. I am proud to have a, 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 a fellow person who covers this HBCU space. Really covers all things black culture. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, if y'all see him online, he is active. You understand me? He is active. He gonna put out the material almost instantaneously when something goes down. You understand me? And he has some of the most creative reaction videos. You know what I'm talking about? Got a lot of dope OG music up in there. Y'all don't know about some of the stuff he be putting out. I know about it because I'm OG status, but y'all might not know. You feel me? Uh, uh, so just very proud to have, like I said, a real one here with me in Coach Simmons. Coach, what the business is, man? What it do, man? How you doing today? Man, I'm trying to get it, trying to get it, trying to get it. But uh, we ain't going to hey. waste no time. We're going to go ahead and get into it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's been a lot of chatter about Jackson State and the uh, Sports Illustrated cover. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know you've already reacted to it. Like I just told the people, you you gonna put the product out there immediately. You feel me? But <laughs> let the real one, the real ones that may have missed uh your reaction, man. Man, honestly, man, it's about damn time. Because okay. I'll be honest, I forgot about Steve McNeil. That was my fault on that one. Mm -hmm. But we're looking at Eddie Robinson, mm -hmm. then Steve McNeil, and now Coach Brown. It's about time. PCUs get a little more limelight. Mm -hmm. We're putting out numbers, putting out players for decades, man. And we can't get no kind of shine. But right now, when I saw that, first thing I thought of was, man, who's next? Mm -hmm. Who's going to follow in that, in that footstep? Who, who would you think right now, is... you stop right now, where this come from? Uh-huh. What, what, what school do you think is best positioned? to do something like that other than Jack State right now? The obvious one would be FAMU because they're okay. next with LeBron and Nike. But the one I think that should have did it would have probably have been Grambling, man. Okay. Because all the stuff going on with the Art Brown situation with the volleyball coach and Hugh Jackson and all that, he could have got on there and just cleared everything out right there. Right. That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, I think that's outside the box, man. Yeah, I mean, they've been quiet too long. Mm -hmm. You know what yeah. I mean? So. All right, now, what made me really want to go ahead and get you on here, I've been thinking about this for the longest, but I really want to go ahead and get you on this week was I saw you something about Lane and the Orange Pride. Okay. In America, if you don't know, Lane Kiffin is currently <laughs> <laughs> the head football coach for Ole Miss. Uh, Lane Kiffin has yeah. been one of these folks out here trying to talk a little bit about like NIL and stuff like that. You know, Coach, coach Saban's uh, statements got all the big publicity. He coached Saban. But uh, Lane has said some stuff yeah. too and trying to act like he's squeaky clean. But what can you tell the people about this Orange Pride thing? Because I missed it, and I try to stay on top of stuff. <laughs> All right. So what it was called, it was called uh, Orange Pride Hosted. So whenever they had a recruit on, on campus, they would have these uh, enthusiastic uh, ladies show them around campus. <laughs> if my line is, if you remember the scene on He Got Game? Uh-huh. Uh, yes, I do. When uh, Ray Allen went with the girl? Yes. That's really what was going on. And so mm. we were in Tennessee. He got busted because two of his girls uh, went off to South Carolina and was – got a little picture on I'll put a picture later on, but they're at this game, a South Carolina game, telling these boys, come to Tennessee. Now, what will get two middle-aged white ladies to go from Knoxville, Tennessee, over to South Carolina to talk to a black high school student? Uh, uh. 
They got busted. They didn't even admit it that they were giving favor <laughs> to get recruited. Giving favors. <laughs> giving favors, man. It, it, it's all online, man. That's how they they get these young kids on campus, man. They get them on campus and they take them to a party and they let everything happen. Whatever drugs, whatever women you want, they already set up for you. Mm. And Kiffin got busted doing that shit. I'm sorry, my bad, my bad. Got busted doing yeah. that. Hey, no, no, they put it on something. You good. <laughs> you are good. Uh, no, so that's crazy, man, because he's trying to act like he's so squeaky clean. And all these cats trying to act like they're just so squeaky clean and we do things the right way. They they know what they've been doing to get our kids to not go to HBCU to play. It, really, when you're playing college sports, you got a job. So it's a reason why yep. they've been getting our kids to go work for them instead of work for their own. It's been a whole lot of funny business going on. And the funny thing is right now that it's somewhat legal. That's what they're mad about. Because mm. anybody, I'm in Texas right now, right? Anybody in Texas can tell you Vince Young came out of Houston Yates, out of the hood. I mean, the uh -huh. hood hood. Uh -huh. Kept on UT campus, he got Hummer. His mama can't give him no, no, no damn Hummer. They get about a $100,000 car to come to UT. Mm. Uh, now that they, it's legal, and they see that black folks got money too, they get <laughs> mad. <laughs> yeah, they big mad. That's they the whole big thing, mad. Big mad. Um. What was your initial reaction, man, when Coach Prime reacted negatively to your joke on Twitter? And for the real ones that don't know what I'm talking about, uh, <laughs> Coach made a joke about, you know, how Jackson State's been offering everybody left and right. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, we out there. We active. We, we recruiting folk left and right. We, we getting to it. You feel me? So Coach just made a joke about that, you know what I'm saying? And, and basically, you know, acting like he, uh, he's eligible. You know what I'm talking about? Coach Prime saw that and took it the wrong way. <laughs> And uh, you know, he said something about it, but uh, and then that that's what prompted me. If y'all watch my video doing the, the week I was going hard for mental health awareness, make sure y'all go watch that if you haven't. Uh, and I told y'all to respond to the I love you's more than the fuck you's. Now, Coach Simmons was not saying fuck you to Deion Sanders. He was not saying that, okay? But uh but obviously, uh, coach perceived it that way. So, uh, um, what was your initial reaction, man, when that happened? Man, I, was, I, I laughed, man. I, I knew what it was, man. Um, so here's what here's what happened. On my timeline, right, I have every single HBCU follow. But when I got on, on Twitter that day, all I saw was Jackson State offer, Jackson State offer, Jackson State offer. Well, I saw nothing from FAMU, nothing from Ram, none of that stuff. And so I'm like, well, damn. I feel left out, man. <laughs> so I'm like, you know what? Hey, did you offer a scholarship? <laughs> I'll take one, too. Yeah. I would just be a funny with it, man. You know, but I knew what it really was, man, was that the whole thing with Alabama, it mm -hmm. kind of got him on, on a certain, certain edge. You know what I mean? And he I responded back to it. So I'm like, you know, to me, to me, it wasn't no big thing about it. Mm -hmm. But <laughs> the best part I saw everybody in the comments was like, man, he, he just joking. So he just joking. Because it, it was a joke to me, man. You know, it's like, if you have enough guys to, bro, I'm, I'm enrolled right now online, Jackson State. I'll take a, a deduction on my pay rate. <laughs> to help brother <laughs> out. You know what I mean? Right. So that was it, man. As I told the folks, you got some of the most creative uh reaction videos uh online. You feel me? Um you you drop some dope mm -hmm. music up in there. Uh you go bring out various images and things <laughs> like that. You chop it up in there and put it all in there. Like like what really inspired you to go to that level of creativity with your reaction videos? Well, it's the main thing, man, but the music, music motivates me, you know what I mean? And sometimes when I'm trying to get a video, 
I think in the video, I, I get a, a writer's block. So I mm -hmm. cut it on the radio. And sometimes I have something like Warren did come on there on the radio as my regulator. So I'm like, you know what? How are they going to regulate this? How are they going to do this? <laughs> okay. or, uh, uh, That's dope. Uh, Michael Jackson, you know, want to be starting something. And then mm -hmm. it, I just flow from there. Uh, like today, I dropped one uh, about Mega Ever. Because really? the thing that tripped me out was I was listening to some old uh, BB King. Mm -hmm. And then it flipped to Mississippi. And it flipped to Alcorn. And I'm like, man, we got so much damn content that SWAT content is really black content. Mega Evans plays football at Alcorn State. Rosa Parks was over there at uh, Alabama State. Uh, you know, Jackie Robinson was the AD at Samuel Houston back when they were in the swag. So mm. it's like all this content is flows, man. And when you get the music going with it, it's just, it brings something out of me, man. I, I can't, it's hard to explain it. But it just brings out the level. You know what I mean? That's dope. That's dope, Coach. That's dope. So what info can you provide people like me with about the impending college football game? Because folks like me, I love that game, Coach. I'm telling you right now. If it if it uh, uh, came down to recruiting on that video game, Nick Saban would be hot with me. He'll be accusing me of buying all my <laughs> players, okay? Because I was going to take one of them two stars and bring them up to a powerhouse program. That's just what I was going to do. So do you think with the HBCU buzz going on right now and we see how uh, uh, the big corporations trying to swoop in and get in on the on the deal and get in on some of the shine and try to act like they down with black schools for real, for real. Do you think that uh, HBCUs will be featured in the upcoming game? Well, what, what I can tell you for, for sure, man, is that one, I never say anything that I can't verify. Okay. And uh, Austin is a more of a tech city. Mm -hmm. You got your Facebooks, your Twitters, your Indies and all that. We have EA here as well. Mm -hmm. I have a partner that works at EA. And he told me um, out of the 103 FBS schools, only 118 are allowing EA to use their content. Mm -hmm. So what that means is they're trying to find a way to, to bounce out to 130 for schedule purposes. And he mentioned because of what's going on in the SWAC, that they all getting a look. Now, I'm not sure if they've already contacted them, mm -hmm. but they are looking to bring the 12 SWAT schools up to basically the FBS level. Mm. Um, I'm not sure if it's just going to be a one-time only thing. Yeah. They got to fill out the rosters. Mm -hmm. uh, also, they're talking about to get around the NIL thing, they may come out there without having the uh, without having the, the names or the, uh, the numbers and stuff right. Mm -hmm. But you know you can get around that easily by just downloading the roster somewhere. So uh, that's looking to come out next year, 2023. Mm -hmm. And if they can work out a thing with the SWAC, the SWAC will be there basically uh, on the FBS level. Man, that's dope. That's dope. Well, well, Coach Prime, I'm sorry, but if that happens, I'm going to be taking Coach Prime's job on the game. <laughs> I will be the head coach of Jack State University, and we will be winning national championships to go along with swag titles. Uh, <laughs> what are your expectations for your HBCU that you support, uh, Coach, this year? I already said Jack yeah. State going undefeated. Book it. I said that already. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I, saw that. I, I, I said that. <laughs> what are your expectations for the for, – uh, first of all, who you down with, Coach? Well – I want you to call a free agent, man. My HBCU was Houston Johnson College. Okay. That's where I went to, where I got my degree from. Um, when it came to it, I looked at, hey, look, Prairie View was basically our rival mm -hmm. for HT, so I can't go to Prairie View. Uh, Jackson, Jackson got all the buzz, man. Mm -hmm. So, like I said all the time, Jackson is like the Cowboys. You love yeah. them, you hate them, but your ass gonna watch them. <laughs> right. And so, I'm looking at Jackson, man. Um, it's kind of hard because I'm one of the people, I want them to get to the playoffs, but it's not to prove that we better than somebody. 
is to shut their ass the hell up. Right, 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 right. I feel because that. look, the only difference between yeah, I look at all these damn teams, man. I look at the Villanovas, look at North Dakota State, look at the Southeast Missouri State, all that. The only thing that was the real difference was the O line and D line play. Mm-hmm. Now they got like ninety five linemen over there at Jackson State. Mm-hmm. If five of them jail, there is not a team in the FCS that has talent like Jackson State. The problem with that is, if they go undefeated or and O, like you said, they're gonna go to the Celebration Bowl and probably play Norfolk State. They win that. We got the Celebration Bowl victory. All of the, uh, I call them NBA, for no black authority figures. Teams, I'm going to talk trash. Well, you just beat Norfolk State. You ain't played North Dakota. You ain't played yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And I want them to get to the playoffs just to blank the whole playoffs. But what I see happening Party in Atlanta. <laughs> I like That's the sound of that, coach. I like the sound of that, coach. And I and I feel your sentiment on that too. Yeah, they, because they've been talking. My timeline has been been Man. lit with a lot of a lot of this uh, North Dakota State talk versus uh, Jackson State. And as you said, with the talent, folks constantly say that recruiting is the lifeblood of college football. Yep, and Jack State has put together back to back top 60 uh recruiting classes nationally. That's not mm-hmm. just HBCU, that's not FCS, that's nationally, but still people acting like they'll get beat by 30 if they went against North Dakota State. Let me tell you something, man. Um, I'm originally from Kansas. Okay. Uh born and bred in Fort Riley, Kansas, right outside of Manhattan. Okay. They have a team called K-State right there. Mm-hmm. Kansas State will literally kill you to have Jackson State's receivers, secondary, and quarterback. And that's a power five school. Mm-hmm. There are power five schools who don't got the talent that Jackson has. I'll take it even further. There are power five schools who don't got the talent that Grambling has or FAMU has. Mm-hmm. And if these schools can get into the playoffs and get their line straight, it's going to be a blank, man. Because one of the things that really drives me crazy about this whole thing is that they think our coaches are good enough to get the black players, mm. but not good enough to coach the black players. Speak on that, coach. There it is. When you see the coach from uh, where was where was he at? Where was he at, man? Norfolk State. He left with the East Carolina to coach what? Tight ends. You look in the SEC. Ain't got no black offensive coordinators, defensive coordinators. The most coaches they have, position coaches and uh, strength conditioning coaches, like your weight training coaches. Mm-hmm. So you can get, get them there, but they don't trust you to coach them. Right. That's the main reason why I want a SWAC team, hell, I don't care, a MEAC team, to get to the playoffs and blank their ass. That's all I'm looking for, man. I mean, I would be happy as hell to have. <laughs> I feel you on that, Coach. I feel you on that. But, Coach, this has been great, dog. Like I said, you've been a real one, for real, for real. Uh, you you shared some of my product, you know what I'm talking about, just without me asking or anything like that. And like as I told the folks, like, like when I was doing the segment about the Coach Prime tweet, I was like, no, nah, this brother is not like that. Because <laughs> just he – Technically, we're competitors, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, uh, but I like to say colleagues in this in this case, you know what I'm talking about. You're a real one. Uh, and just showing love like that, man. That that I mean, that's just real to me, you know what I'm talking about. So it was great to have you on, and I would love to have you on in the future as well, coach. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, as, as one of these repeat guests, you know what I'm talking about. So the real ones can continue to see another real one but can you let them know coach uh uh what x subscribe to you and where to follow you yeah uh, follow me at, at coach simmons on um youtube uh twitter i'm on blue simmons b-l-u no e simmons that's me um yeah that's the main too man instagram i don't really get down on that because it's 
too many damn apps, man. I ain't got time for all that. Give me two and I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, Coach. I feel you, Coach. Well, appreciate you coming on again, man. One. No problem, my man. You have a good one. All right, you too, dog. My kids wanted me to tell y'all to make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me across all social media platforms, like the videos, and share them. Did I forget anything? And turn the post notifications. Y'all heard them. And also, visit StatementTeesLLC.com and shop with us. That's Statement Tees. Every t-shirt you wear makes a statement.